Hey everyone, today I want to be talking about ventricular fibrillation, also known as V-fib. What is V-fib? Well, this is a rhythm that originates from your ventricles. And the ventricles are really important for helping you squeeze blood out of your heart and maintain cardiac output. So with this rhythm, what happens is that there's an abnormal electrical signal causing those ventricles to really just quiver. They are not pumping and squeezing that blood out like they should. So because of this, what will happen is that cardiac output will fall. So this rhythm is deadly. And if it is not reversed or treated, the patient can die within minutes. So what are some characteristics and criteria that tells you that you have ventricular fibrillation? Well, this rhythm is fairly easy easy to identify. It has a chaotic rapid rhythm that has no organization to it. Instead, what you see on that ECG strip is fibrillatory waves that can vary in size. This means that they can be coarse fibrillatory waves. And whenever you see this, it means that the patient may have a better chance of being revived. Or you can see fine fibrillatory waves, which is similar to a flat line, which we refer to as a systole. And whenever you see these fine waves, the chance are getting slim for that patient to be revived. And then of course, due to the nature of this rhythm, you're not going to be able to see P waves, QRS complexes, T waves, PR intervals, or anything like that. And here on this strip, you can see a classic example of ventricular fibrillation. This is actually coarse fibrillatory waves. And again, notice you cannot find P waves, QRS complexes, T waves. Really what it looks like is just a bunch of squiggly lines on the ECG strip. And these lines are being produced from our ventricles, which are just sitting in the chest quivering. They're not contracting like they should. Now, what can cause V-fib? Well, anything that affects the heart, especially heart disease. So if the patient has severe heart disease, let's say they have a severe heart attack, this could cause V-fib because with a heart attack, you can get ischemia that can damage the heart muscle so much that will cause it not to pump efficiently and it can lead to this rhythm. Plus any type of electrolyte imbalances, especially ones that affect potassium levels. So we have severely low or high levels that could cause V-fib. In addition, hypoxia can lead to this, which is where we have low levels of oxygen in the blood. And there's a lot of diseases that can cause low levels of oxygen in the blood, especially diseases that affect the respiratory system. And then lastly, drug overdose can lead to this rhythm as well. Now let's talk about the treatment for V-fib. So again, as I said earlier, this rhythm is deadly. So your patient isn't going to survive very long without treatment and they're going to be unresponsive. They're not going to have a pulse. So what you want to do is you want to get help immediately. So call a code or activate the emergency response system in your area. And you want to start CPR immediately and follow ACLS protocol. So you're going to be doing chest compressions, defibrillation, giving epinephrine and other medications like amiodarone, lidocaine, and securing that airway. And then if the patient is successfully resuscitated, it may be necessary to consider an implanted ICD, a cardioverter defibrillator, to help treat any further episodes in the future. Okay, so that wraps up this review over ventricular fibrillation. And if you'd like to watch more ECG videos in this series, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.